Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you some gorgeous Symbidium orchids. I will also talk about how to take good care of them. I hope that you will enjoy this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We will have more useful, interesting, and free plant videos in the future. Symbidian orchids come from the Himalayan foothills, where the climate is more cool. They produce long spikes of up to 25 flowers, each 3 to 6 inches across, and many of them fragrant. They are interesting flowers and beautiful grass-like leaves make them ideal house plants. Symbidium care is easy once you get the basics down. So let's dive into their care. Symbidium orchids require sufficient sunlight. In the early spring, late autumn, and winter, when the temperature is low, they need direct sunlight. You can put them near a south or east facing window during these times, when the sun is weaker. In summer, however, you should avoid exposure to direct sun around noon and in the afternoon. Long time exposure under strong direct sunlight can burn their leaves. In the summer, we put ours under a big tree. The dappled sunlight there is perfect for their growth. You can also put them near a south facing window behind a thin screen. This screen will filter out some hot sunlight. One way to tell if they need more or less sunlight is by observing the color of the leaves. Too much direct sunlight can burn their leaves and the color will turn yellow. If the leaves are dark green, that indicates that they need more light. Apple green leaves tell you that your light is perfect for Symbidium orchids. Judging by the color of the leaves, you can choose the perfect spot for your Symbidium. Symbidium orchids love a temperature range between 15 to 25 Celsius. In winter, the temperature should not fall below 10 Celsius. You can put these orchids outside once the danger of frost has passed and should bring them inside the house in late autumn when the temperature reaches 12 Celsius. A pronounced temperature difference during the day and night in fall will stimulate the flowering of this orchid. They need low temperature to initiate bud spikes. Some Symbidium species need a 10 to 15 Celsius temperature difference in order to bloom. If you live in warm area without frost, you can leave your Symbidiums outside in the winter. When it comes to humidity, we have good humidity in the summer in Pennsylvania, United States. We just put our Symbidiums outside. In winter, however, the weather is pretty dry. We have to keep the indoor humidity between 40 to 60%. If your area is really wet, you don't need to worry about humidity. For those in dry climates, you can spray some water on the leaves of the orchid or use a humidifier to maintain humid air. Symbidium orchids need to be watered frequently as they grow quite fast. In the growing season, which begins in spring and ends in summer, you need to keep the medium moist. In autumn and winter, when their growth slows down, you need to water less often. Wait until the medium is dry between waterings. Their pseudobulbs can store water and nutrients, so they can tolerate some dryness. If water is not sufficient, the pseudobulbs will shrink. Once you see this happening, you need to water your Symbidium more often. 
Too much water without good drainage could cause root rot. So in winter, it's better to keep it a little bit dry as the temperature is low. Cymbidium likes acidic water with a pH between 5.4 to 6. We use a pH meter to measure the pH before watering. For example, our tap water has a pH of 7.5. The filtered water is around 6.5. We can use the filtered water and add a few drops of lemon juice to bring the pH to the ideal range. Our tap water is hard water. We prefer filtered water because the filter removes chlorine and extra minerals. As far as fertilization goes, we must select an orchid fertilizer without urea. Symbidium needs a good amount of fertilizer as they grow fast. If nutrients are insufficient, the leaves will turn yellow and the flowers will be smaller. In spring and summer, you should use fertilizers with a higher ratio of nitrogen to promote stem and leaf growth. At the end of summer and in autumn, we should use the fertilizer with a high proportion of phosphorus to stimulate blooming. Fertilize your cymbidium once a week in spring and summer. Fertilize every 10 to 15 days in fall, and you don't have to fertilize them in winter, or you can fertilize them once per month in winter. We buy and use orchid mix containing fine bark once it becomes time to repot. These orchids need to be repotted once they grow too big. The best time to repot symbiotiums is after blooming or in early spring. First, get the orchid out of the pot and remove all of the old decayed medium. Then check the root system and cut out all the rotted roots. You can split the orchids so that each new plant has three pseudobulbs and repot them in either one pot or different pots. Or leave the plant intact and move it to a larger pot. After you split or cut the orchid, you need to put the orchid in a place with good aeration and let the wound dry before potting. Use some pots with good aeration such as terracotta pots for your symbidium. The pot should accommodate the root system, being neither too big nor too small. Alright, we talked about all the details about Symbidium Orchid Care. I hope that this video was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.